Library Databases, Exploring Education Research Complete. Ashland University Library and OhioLINK offer users an extensive collection of research database and information portal resources. Access library databases from the main library website. Choose Find Databases and go directly to the database list. You may also access databases directly from the OhioLINK website. Choose Library Databases, listed by subject, type, and quick search. The Course LibGuide provides library database recommendations specifically for education research. Choose the Library Databases and Find Article tab, and you will see database recommendations for education and database recommendations for multidisciplinary research. This tutorial will explore Education Research Complete. If you are working on campus, the link will automatically direct you to the database. If you are working off campus, you will need to authenticate. Enter your Ashland University ID number, your last name, and log in. You are now searching the EBSCOhost database Education Research Complete. This database automatically defaults to the Advanced Search screen. The Advanced Search screen allows you to search different terms in different fields at the same time. In this tutorial, we are going to explore the Basic Search screen. Enter a search term in the search box. We are going to explore Common Core Standards. It is possible to limit your search by selecting specific parameters for your results. Keep in mind that while limiters set specifics for a search, they will also limit the number of results returned. For this search, we are going to limit to full text, select the publication type Academic Journals, and choose a publish date, January 2010, for June 2012. Scroll down and search. A results list displays featuring article results that meet your selected search parameters. The left column provides information about the search. In the bread box you will see the number of results. Open the box to review the limiter set at the start of your search. If it's desired, you can set your search results further. You may refine your results to scholarly or peer-reviewed and click Update. Select a source type of academic journals and Update. And note that you can explore subject thesaurus terms, subjects, and publications all located within the database results you have found. If more than one results page is returned, pages will display at the top. Navigate through your results by clicking on the arrow for the next or the number for a specific result. Preview articles in the results list by placing your mouse over the magnifying glass. A pop-up window will display the article abstract and basic information. To view an article, select Detailed Record from the pop-up abstract or click on the title. The detailed record provides links to available full text options, in this instance HTML full text and PDF full text. Both are available in the left sidebar. The center column displays the article abstract, the accompanying HTML text when applicable, and note that it's possible to have the article read to you. Listen and choose the accent and speed that you would like to hear. 
HTML full text and PDF text look different. Generally speaking, the PDF is a scanned copy of the actual journal. The right sidebar is the tools area. You may add your article to a folder, print, email, save, have citation options, export, and work with a permalink for your article. Add your article to the folder. The folder will save your results during the current session. Additional entries can be made. Click Folder to view what you've saved. And it's possible to save these entries for future sessions. To do so, you will need to create a free MyEBSCO account. Click Sign In. If you already have an account, log in with your username and password. If you need a new account, select Create New Account. EBSCO will ask for a first name, last name, email address, your AU Gmail is recommended at this point, a username, select a password, and a question that if you need to identify your account should you lose your email or your password information. After a successful sign-in, you will see a yellow ribbon and the word My across the EBSCO logo at the top left corner of the page. You will also see your username. You can continue searching and add articles to your folder for future use. Keep in mind that My EBSCO account will work with all of the EBSCO databases available from AU Library and OhioLINK. Sign out when you're finished with your search. If you need help within the database, select the Help icon. This includes a searchable database of frequently asked questions and answers, including ebooks and search help. If you would like personalized research help, reference librarians are available. Select the AU Library tab, email a librarian, call the reference desk, or feel free to schedule a research appointment. Remember, there are librarians available to help you with your scholarly research.